when you're moving this so you don't run over the hoses, what I do is use one hand on the handle, I grab both hoses with the other hand, and then I just bend it up and pull it. And that keeps me from running over the hoses or getting them tangled in the wheels. So when you go to move it, just grab those two hoses with one hand and grab the handle with the other, and Bob's your uncle. Check to make sure that you have oil inside of there before you use the unit. You don't want to burn out your engine. If you're going to restart your pressure cleaner, check and see how hot the engine is. If the engine's hot, keep that lever on the green position. If you can't get it started, you may have run out of gas. So check and make sure that you have gas in it. Or you could have flooded it. But here in this case, we don't have any gas. The manufacturer of this product, Ryobi, or whatever they, however you pronounce it, recommends that you don't use that ethanol type of gas. So make sure you don't do that. You'll find that your hose gets all tangled up. So what you have to do is basically just kind of go in opposite revolutions of the tangle until your hose straightens out after you've stored it. And that's what I'm doing here. To attach or detach your water hose, you've got to hold the hose still and turn the collar. To take it off, you turn it to the right. To put it on, believe it or not, you have to turn it to the left. And your pressure hose, uh, you're going to turn that to the right, which is the opposite of the way that you would turn the water hose uh, to tighten it. And connecting it to the wand, you do the same thing. You turn it to the right. And make sure that you got a good connection on all of these so they don't leak. I use the 40% on this uh, nozzle. I found that that's better. You get a wider arc on it. And if you have to, you can get just a little bit closer with it. Or you can pull it back. And it makes it a little bit easier to do the job. For your own protection, I would recommend wearing goggles and a mask so you don't breathe any of this stuff. And also get a good pair of shoes so you don't cut your toes off by accident. Because this is gas operated, you've got to make sure that you don't have it, uh, uh, the uh, exhaust going inside of your house or anywhere somebody's going to breathe it and die. Once you've run the unit for a while, this area of the muffler and the front of the engine gets super hot. So don't touch it with your skin or your leg. All right, so another tip, if you've been pulling on this and pulling on this and it's not starting and you've got a warm engine, you've got it on run or... or um, it, you know, and you smell the gas, that means that you flooded it. So what you have to do is wait. Wait about five to 10 minutes and then come back and try to start it again. Make sure that you've got enough hose. I got about 100 feet. But before you do anything, make sure you turn on your water before you try to start your uh, <laughs> your Ryobi. And make sure that your, your hose doesn't have any kinks in it all the way through. I've got it draped over here. And it could get a little kink in there, so I gotta check that and make sure the water's getting through to it. You've turned your water on, just double check and make sure you don't have any kinks in it. Um, and that there's no leaks. So here's where you could have a leak, here's where you could have a leak, or there's where you could have a leak. And then let's look at our hose. See, we've got a kink here. That's gonna stop the water flow. So you make sure you get that open. And then up here, I gotta check this and make sure it's not kinked. There we go. So it's got a good flow coming through. Otherwise, that is not good for your pressure washer. And then before you try to start it, you want to purge this. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is pull it. You can see it's purging. I'm squeezing this, and we got water coming out. That's what we want before we try to start it. When the engine's cold, and you can tell by just putting your hand here, it hasn't been running, you have to put it on choke before you do the pull start. Okay? Make sure you got it on choke. As soon as the engine revs up, you've got to switch it back to run. Don't leave it on choke, you burn your engine out. Very important. Make sure before you try to start it, or pull start it, that you've got this turned to open. So open is lateral, as opposed to a perpendicular to this line. So this would be even with it. Make sure you get it all the way. And this would be closed. If you're not sure what to do, it's going to tell you. Open, choke, start, and then back to run immediately. To turn it off, you have to press this and hold it. You've got to hold it down, or otherwise it won't turn off. And that's basically your setup.
All right, those are just a couple of tips when using the Ryobi 2900 pressure washer. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and check out my other awesome videos on stuff like this.